Good evening. I wanted to be here like an hour ago and start early because I don't have my kid. But like, I was talking to some friends for quite a while. <laughs> um, did we get the book? No, right, the book's not on it. Okay, hang on. Alright, so, plan is to get book, go back through the swamp, um, talk to our friends, There's no sound on the stream. Give me one second. There we go. Sorry about that. We were soundless for a bit. Um, I guess my computer must have restarted at some point because my OBS sound settings and my Discord sound settings were all funky. Opposite of West. Thanks. How's the library at? It's Town Hall. I forget where the library is on it. Hospital. That's a house. That's a house. This should be Town Hall. Yes. I know this place has a library. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. No, it's not. I completely forgot what the library was. I don't have my map <laughs> on me. I would just look real quick. Isn't this the library? I could have swore this was a library. Bakery, the way out, the game shop, the pizza place, the hospital. I know there's a library in this freaking town. It's like the first point I walked into when I started playing the game. This gives you tutorials. It's like right there. I just cannot find it. up this way. There it is. I'm a dummy. The year 2001 to return it? Okay. I mean, I just need the book. Yeah, 
Hey, uh... I'll tell me the same, like, tutorial stuff to start with. Oh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially we don't need to use the bathroom. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking. See you next week. Yeah, what is it, the magic butterfly? Yeah, the magic butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More tutorial people. Managed to meet my phone time before the uh Remember I didn't meet my phone before the notification went out. Stairs. Okay, I know he said he returned to the library. Where the hell is it? Out of the way, dude. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. This is all tutorial crap. Which one of you has the book? Of all the people. Now what, huh? Oh, you freaking have it. On the book. Which bookcase? Finally. Okay. <laughs> that took like five minutes longer than it should have. The kid just got hit by a car. Watched it. It was brutal. It's not what I meant to withdraw. Just withdraw, like. There you go. Just have like $30,000 on me. Just some walking around money, you know. I don't think there's an ATM down in the deep darkness. Besides that one that gives you, or that one that takes as much out as you, takes as much from you as you put in or pull out. I'm not doing that. I'm not pulling out like $10,000 for gear from those guys and have the that dude take $10,000 from me. That's not happening. Mom. Give me pizza. Alright, so now we can go down to the deep darkness. Give them the book Overcoming Shyness. If I can get away with teleport B here. Cool. I 
And I'm with the monkeys. Time to drown our way through the deep darkness again. Hopefully the book doesn't get ruined in the process. This isn't even the way I need to go. Ah. Crap. Milo, I'm not opening the window. It's hot outside, cat. It's not happening tonight. Go this way. I think I remembered because I just did it yesterday, but I did not. So glad he got his turn last this turn. It's <sighs> awesome. I'm glad I just caught down here and I already have a character dead. What's what's use all the defense I give you, Paula? Like What am I doing? I wish everyone had like the same size HP pool that Ness has. I, I get he's the chosen one and all everything, but like all four of them are the chosen one. Or the chosen ones. He's just the chosen one of the chosen ones. Also, I need to replace this Casey bat. Wait, what? I don't remember there being bugs here. The thing called a hard crocodile? Yes, it was called a hard crocodile. And I'm kind of sad that it's not called a hard cordile. Salt packet. Why why did the slugs have salt? I'm glad Jeff got an attack off before he died. <sighs> wow. What are the odds of their um, their thunder strike hitting Ness three times in a row? After you know Jeff died. Alright, feed Jeff this cup of ramen so we can get back up. Yeah, I forgot I wanted to go to Winters and buy the T-Rex bat because as cool as the KC bat is, as strong as it is, it only hits one-fourth of the time. Heck you, you big pile of barf.
Stop drowning, you cowards. No. Sigh. Fire. There we go. I love the Franklin badge. <laughs> it's such a great item. <laughs> I have like food on me that I can give him instead of using my side to heal him. Just so I can try and clear out some of this freaking inventory space. No. Side healing it is. Oh, hey. Magic butterfly. But I went the wrong way. Again, unfortunately. I have to go this way. So I don't usually watch things like, I don't usually watch YouTube at all in my free time. A um, friend of mine sent me this video, my friend Rob sent me this video from, uh, oh god, what's his first name again? Young Yeah? I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm, ter I'm terribly sorry if I'm messing it up. But um, that Diablo Immortal has reached a new low in its monetization loot boxes. Oh god, Paulo's dead again. That's awesome. For like the eternal legendary crest and legendary crest and that like Diablo Immortal is now the lowest ranked game on Metacritic. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it has like a point two score. I installed it to my tablet just to mess around on it. And like I played it for like an hour and I haven't touched it since. Let me through weed. Thank you. Okay. It's not gonna come the whole way over, that's fine. Ah. Uh, I forget how to get to the freaking village. Also, where the hell did you come from? You even slimy your little pile? Save yourself, cool your head. I mean. Like I said, I played it for like an hour. I, I'm not putting a cent into the game. I absolutely refuse to. Like, just... I don't know if I'll even have... I don't know if I'll even, you know, max out a character in it. Just like... It's just, it, it's just something to scratch that Diablo itch. Every so often. Like I said the other night, I'm not a big fan of Path of Exile. I wish I was, like... A lot of my friends really enjoy it. Just I've played Path of Exile like a few times and just it never sticks with me. They won't send a clear message. They don't care. If they care what the ratings were, they wouldn't have put it in there. They care about the profit they make off it. It can be it's it's the lowest ranked game ever, but they they're making money off it, so it's fine. You didn't mean to Blizzard specifically? I mean, 
it'd be nice if it sent a clear message to everybody else in any other game company that had the same idea to do this, but... The game might have a .2 rating, but it's made like $20 million. Like... Oh boy, more salt. I don't remember how to get up to this fucking village. I keep getting lost. And they won't be the lowest rate game if they make it just a little bit less predatory than Diablo Immortal. They'll just be like really low rated. What's with all the salt packets? I don't want them. My inventory's already clogged up enough with shit. At this point for Diablo Immortal, I'm just waiting for this season. Because if you haven't played Diablo 3 at all, um, it runs off seasons. So every time a season ends, there's a new patch, new gear comes out, new gems. You know, not always new gear. Usually it's just like tweaks and whatnot. But when a season changes in Diablo 3, your character gets moved from the season server to the non-season server. So you have to completely start over on the season server. If you want to, you know, play on play with the new stuff. Because all the new stuff goes over to the non-season server when a new season comes out. So the only way to play the newest content is to be on the season server. I'm waiting for this season to end, if there even is one, in Diablo Immortal, and everyone just lose their characters. And everyone have to start over. I have to talk to you. The book can fix shyness. Thanks. Relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I really take really take time to read it to everyone. Rita of the Tender Tribe read Overcoming Shyness to everyone. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some ten tender kraut in return. It's the type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but tastes wonderful. I hate sauerkraut. I don't want this. I can't move. Oh, it's because it's fuzzy pickle time, that's why. Pictures taken instantaneously! Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! As everyone just is dog piled on top of Ness in front of this tenma, tenda. Hey, I have a happy little question for you. Cecil. Cecil. So this is the correct player's name? No, it's it's my name. So you want you happy with this name? Yes. You absolutely certain? Yes. Yeah, I thought you had made up your mind. Yes, stop talking to me, the player. Oh no, I drank tea again. Oh god, someone spiked the tea. Great tapestry. 
vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. Back in the Lofi zone. You may have cursed this never-ending journey. You have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. You, inborn intelligence and courage, have helped bring you here. Oh, you're inborn. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. You have have you ever stopped to consider how much power has how much your power has grown? Now you could fell enemies and on it in Tucson with one blow. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Gygas, the Archfiend of the Universe, is growing frightened of you and has end your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. From here, the challenge grows, and your adventures will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gygas. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. Don't know where Pokey went, I don't care! He stole my helicopter. I'm still not over it. Ness. Paula. Jeff. Pooh! You luck. Who's talking to it? Who's saying all this? Is it the Tenda? <laughs> like, do they know what's going on? <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm, I'm a woman. Did you think I was a man? I didn't say that. How are you today? You're not feeling well. Be healthy. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life, I give you something. Look at this list. Hall of Fame bad. You give Horn of Life? I don't have a Horn of Life. Shit. Underground. Very large area. Exists. Dinosaurs. Big. Scary. Lost underworld. Stone. There it is. Talk slots. Powerful, I, so show, everyone. I got it, I got it, yeah! Where'd it go? Is it just lodged in the roof of this cave? Recently, everyone's able to talk a lot, so I've lost my identity. Oh no! The Tenda's experienced identity crisis. I wish I could, like, teleport to the Tenda village. I can't teleport here anyways. Good evening. I am a talking rock. But the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock talks the most is deep down the labyrinth, ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It's important. Yes, sir, Mr. Rock, sir. Hello. Turned by Foppy and its cohorts. Oh, I'm sorry, these ones are Foppy. Twenty-one damage with that frying. Four hundred six-one damage with that frying pan.
What's back there? Just, just one fobby. <laughs> Pooh's level is now 50. Nice. And what's back here? It's face. Oh, it's part of a face, I guess. Uncontrollable sphere. It's a sphere of darkness. It's laughing maniacally. Oh, damn it, it explodes upon death. Sixty-two. The underground talking rock seems to want to talk a lot more than I do, so you're not the talking rock. Super bomb. I was on Twitter earlier, probably like a little early last night, and um, I don't think I mentioned it yesterday, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but there's some people that are like seriously up in arms that uh, Persona 3 Portable is coming to the new consoles and not FES, and like a lot of them are like really butthurt over it. Like, there's this one guy. What the hell? Conducting spirit. Why is it a skeleton? There's this one thread I ran. I don't know who it was. But it was trending on the, the Persona tag. And um, he had, like... This big, like, five list reason. He said it was a huge list, and it was like five items. Um. Oh, hey, Jeff. God damn it. Yeah, Jeff's dead. Of, like. Of, like, why, uh. Fuck! Of, like, why, um, FES was the definitive edition and Portable was just trash. And, um, one of them was that the answer wasn't there. And the answer is... The answer. It's... It wasn't exactly good. It was good for its story, but, like... The gameplay of it was really, really rough. I wouldn't mind... Wait, why did it not work on Pooh? Did I accidentally click Jeff while I was talking? Whatever. Um, like, the answer was good story-wise, but, like, it should not have... God damn it. It should not have um, either set everyone back to level, like, 30, or it just shouldn't have been nearly as long. Um... Also, the fact that Agus doesn't have a compendium makes it super hard on Personas. Um, fuck again. Kill it for Paula dies. Yes. Um, but that was one of them that the answer wasn't there. Two, they said that there's no cutscenes in Portable, which is something I didn't notice when I didn't when I played Portable. I didn't even notice the cutscenes weren't there. <laughs> I just completely blanked on that. Um, 
But like with this HD remake, they might include the cutscenes. I don't know, maybe. Um, and you'll get a good kick out of this next one. The next one I remember, I think there was five. But I only remember four of them. Oh shit! I walked back down the stairs. Um, the next one was that the social links in portable are worse in that the new social links that come with the party members are bad i'm sorry do you like the gourmet king more than you like junpei because if so i'm sorry you have a wrong opinion <laughs> like Or whatever the moon arcana was. Um. Oh, wait, Cal. The next one? The next one will really stick it to you, Cal, in particular. So, spoilers. Forewarning. This next one's a bit of spoilerish. Give me like 30 seconds for it. They said that Shinjiro surviving through a coma is an absolutely terrible plot hook and that no matter what happens you should die that's the fifth one i forgot about <laughs> like no what's wrong with what's wrong with Shin, what's wrong with shinji surviving like the diadem and kings what the hell is that I'm fine with him surviving. Be used on poo increases his defense. Okay. Like it's not like he comes back to the whoops. It's not like he comes back to the party or anything. Like He's just he's there. The game says he survived in a coma. He might never awake. Like what's wrong with that? And then the fifth one is that that you can date Ken, which, okay, I can agree with that one, but it's not like you're forced to. You can choose to say no and just be friends and treat him like a little brother. Like, kid just asking for you to wait for him to he's old enough. I don't know. Like I said, I never planned on... Oh god. Okay, I only fought one. I, I never plan on following the romance route with Ken. That's just... That's weird. And just to throw it out there, I'm also not really cool with Joker dating Kawakami as teacher. Like... <laughs> Or any of the older women in Persona 5. It's a bit weird, but... At least it's not, you know, dating a 10-year-old, I guess. Oh, shit. We. Oh, damn it, I'm back here.
But yeah, I don't mind, like, Joker and any of, like... Where am I going? I need to go this way now. Okay. Oh my god, it's a lot of foppies. Holy shit, they all coming? What the fuck? There's six of them. Time for side fire, Jesus. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Nice. But like, I'm fine with, you know, Joker dating any of the girls that, you know, that's around his age. Haru, Makoto, An, Futaba, um, Kasumi, Yo I should call Yoshizawa. Um, I'm forgetting one. God, I, she's the Shogi girl. What the hell's her name? Oh my god. I'm having a complete blank. I said Makoto. Hafumi. I can't believe I forgot Hafumi's name. Did I not say Makoto? I meant to say Makoto. <laughs> Haru, Makoto, An, Futaba, and Hafumi. That's the five girls that are around Joker's age, I believe. They're dateable. And Yoshizawa. Six. Yeah, Joker dating any of, you know, the girls, that's fine. But, like, when it's, like, Oya, Tei, Kawakami, and... Am I missing one? Oya, Tei, Kawakami... I'm missing an adult female confident. Say's not dateable. Chaya, the fortune teller. Thank you. Um, like Joker dating any of them is kind of weird. But like, thanks for talking to me. Um, I guess because they're consenting adults, even though Joker's technically not an adult. Like, it's kind of like, eh? <laughs> like, I guess in like a year or two, Joker will be technically an adult. I guess it's fine in a year or two, but it's kind of weird. Cause Joker's like 16, 17 and Kawakami's like in her thirties, but Whatever. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting the age of consent is slower in Japan. I guess. Or so I'm told. I haven't actually looked it up. Well, now, now I'm gonna look it up while this turn's going on. The age of consent age of consent in Japan is 13. Why did everyone like why does Paula have seven life? I looked away for one minute, what happened? Wait for one turn, everyone's almost dead. Hey! Thank you. So, I mean... I guess... If the age of consent is, you know, 13 in Japan... Joker's... Like, 16, 17... I guess? It's weird, but... Whatever. I wouldn't do it in my playthroughs, but 
I mean, I guess I did do it in one of my some of my playthroughs just to get the point for the thieves den, but that's it. <laughs> like, um. All oh, right, this is like mess. Mm -hmm. HQ went up. Oh, that's not helpful. Damn it. Damn you, RNG. Um. But yeah, like Ken's like 10. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just it's a bit too, you know, pushing the limit there for me. I mean, I also don't like Ken as a character either, because, like, I just, I kind of wish Ken would just act like a kid. And not try to act like he's, like, 30s, in his 30s. Like, you're a child, man. You're allowed to watch Feather, man. Like, it's cool. It's legal. It's a thing you're allowed to do. You can watch TV and drink your milk, man. Oh, hello. Also, Ken's age up in Arena is like way too much <laughs> it's cool don't get me wrong but in arena ken's like 13 and he looks like he's like 16 17. <laughs> like like ken is like the tallest 13 year old on the planet <laughs> like <laughs> ah fuck i went back downstairs i didn't mean to do that Oh my god! There's so many! Holy fuck! I did enjoy the touch in Q2, as we're talking about Featherman, where Futaba knows that Yukari is Feather Pink. She's she knows her like her um her alter ego's name. Like but she chooses not to, you know, say anything for, you know, the time space continuum. This is the Earth's belly button. Okay. Luxury jerky. Nice. Oh, how that what how did a sneak attack? Jeff's looking at it. Uh. I don't have anything to say about Persona 4 romances. They're okay, I guess. They all exist. They're all there. Chie is the only valid option. <coughs> I 
only because I won't take Naoto from Kanji. Rabbit's foot must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks, increases your speed in a big way. Ooh, that sounds good for Ness. Um. I can't get rid of any of this. Alright. Smells on so believably bad you couldn't eat it. Oh. <coughs> okay. Look at this stupid salt packet. Who has like four of these, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Ness just eat a packet of salt, five HP. Good job, Ness. Um. Don't know what use this care key is. I haven't found a use for it yet. Lowers my defense a little bit, but Ness has more than enough life to make up for it. So he has 510 freaking life. You finally got here. This is the seventh your sanctuary zone, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you did. Wait, seventh? Did I miss one? What are you? Electro Spectre? You're ready to boogie, my man. Oh, God. Paul's already dead, man. <sighs> Wait, why'd I take damage? Wait, what happened? Why did it reflect it back to Ness? Please don't hit Paula, you son of a bitch. What do you mean it didn't work? Wait, did I use the wrong healing spell? Psy, healing, Omega, and Paula. God! Really? Really? Twice in a row? Oh, 
Wait. Healing Omega Paula. Why didn't it work? Whatever. Paul is just dead. I can't fix it, apparently. What I just use? I hit up and it didn't take my input. Okay, it's Psychic Barrier Dropped. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Okay. So I guess Psy healing Omega is not a guaranteed thing. Which is kind of annoying. I don't have enough for freaking shielding. Sorry, I, excuse me, I perped. I can't sit here and keep healing everybody. I mean, I guess I could for a little bit longer with Ness, but like... Jeff will just have to knock at this experience. Sorry, Jeff. That sucked. Also, am I not missing a sanctuary zone? I don't think I can actually check on... No, doesn't seem like it. Which melodies I have. I feel like I'm missing a sanctuary. Jeff's alive again. I'm Ness. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall. <laughs> or are they? Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness sounds to require the melody of Lumen Hall. Yep. Oh. 
how tiny I am. This is me just Paula freaking the fuck out. Holy shit. I'm trying to walk and check something at the same time. Look, dinosaur. Am I gonna get wrecked by this wet no -sar? I am missing a melody. I'm missing the sixth sanctuary. I killed a dinosaur though. Um I can't teleport back here. Shit. I know it's sanctuary I'm missing. Just That's a big billboard. Case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Is that the Rock of Ages rock? I mean, this game came out way before Rock of Ages, but like... Is this where they got the idea for the Rock of Ages rock? Like... You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you hear the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot spring will erupt. The blue spearings are great for recovering health. Red springs are great for healing paralysis, drying out poison. The bright bird. The bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. Like I withdrew thirty thousand dollars and dad put in fifty thousand. There was a present over here. Save the present. There's a horn of life inside. Crew takes it. Cool. Now I can go back to the 10 months see if I can trade that for the Hall of Fame bat. Once I get out of here. Tenma. Ten... Tenda. Oh god, it wants my blood. The Chompa Sword.
power shield deflects the attack. What? I used the wrong side ability. Well, that's that anyways. Oh, no, it's not. didn't work. Guess just defend then, Jeff. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. Killer dinosaurs. Why can't I not fit between these trees? Really? It's a huge gap there. C pen. Cool. I don't need that. can't fit through here. <laughs> Guts capsule. W a noxious case. Some foreign country said something heartrending. So I'm healing my wounds in the hot spring. Wow, pokey. What an asshole. Let's see if I can save some PP here by using just a mega instead of you know, the largest one. You guys smell really good. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? Open the doors so you can gather right now. I'm the boss. I'll let you out. Thank you for the tender crowd. That tender crowd was stolen. The awful smell surrounding the group was gone. Ah, oh, thank God. The way to this primitive country must be tired. Stay this in only four hundred dollars. Gonna stare at you? Yep, sure will. I don't know what you guys are gonna do with four hundred dollars, but. Listen to the talkative, mysterious rock story. I don't understand what he's talking about. Oh, you see talkative, mysterious rock. That rock really jabbers away. We made a cage for the dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. I don't believe it. He's just spewing out his cake hole. Tenda, who liked to talk home to the underworld, because we couldn't stand the quiet up above, so we established a separate tribe. Hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. Let's play. Let's play Storm. My friend Ego loves this game, so hi, may I help you? 
What are you looking for? Anything in particular? The ultimate bat. Just funny, not as much damage as the the Casey bat. Damn it, no. Yes. Sell. The knight pendant. Yes. Sell. The diamond band. Yes. Sell. The talisman ribbon. Yes. Sell. The lucky coin. I like how you hold on to this stuff because it sells for so much, but I have like two hundred thousand dollars. Two to one fifth, one eighty five. Damn. No. I mean, unfortunately, it's a DPS increase despite such a drop in attack power, simply because it has a better chance to hit. Shiny coin, but I'm using the rabbit's foot, so I don't need that. You're the one like can't. You're the one that moved to the underworld because you didn't want to stay in the silence up top because everyone was shy. Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage. The boss. We're the same tenda as those above ground. We seem different. Yeah, you know the tenda up there is shy and only to talk. They do now. Can you think the tenda above is a particular beautiful woman? They're still shy though. That makes them all the more beautiful. You finally came, Ness. Finally, you talk to me. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? You are the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours. It is the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe... Will, wait. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. Yeah, I read that right. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step and Onnit? That's That is one of your sanctuaries is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. That monster is influenced by the power of that place. You must beat, must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all eight power spots in the world. The soundstone records the melodies of all eight spots. You can finally see your world. I'll tell you of all the power spots. One, giant step on it. Two, Lilliput steps in peaceful rest valley near Tucson. Three, Milky Way in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. Four, Rainy Circle, found by Jeff in Winters. Five, Magnet Hill at the edge of the city of Foreside. Six, Pink Cloud, which Pooh knows, which is the one I missed. Seven, and seven, in Loom Hole, in Lumine Hole, where the Shining Lichen lives in the cave. Eight, is a new place that's going to open up to you now. Fire Spring is located southwest of here. Listen to the melody of all eight spots. If you do not, you may up. If you do not fail, you may upset Gygus's plans. Understand, Ness? The time will come. The time when your destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap it is fast approaching. Paula is still just freaking out as we walk. Why can't I go forward? There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, at no point did I think it was important to go to, um, Dalam. So... My bad for not going and getting, uh, my Six Sanctuary Zone. This place still is not on the teleport list. Or I'd go get it now and come back, but... Is this it? Hey! It's the Skyrunner. What's it doing down here? Also, I can't do shit from here. Dinosaur! Psychic, offensive, Omega, defend, psychic, offensive, Omega Thunder. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Awesome. So glad I did that. Thunder's stronger than freeze, but it requires thunder to hit. we got the cloak of kings give it the poo and give this to jeff Case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. Here the dinosaurs don't come attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. I like how these tend to... were so off-put by the fact that their brothers and sisters were shy, that they straight up moved to live in a dinosaur-filled area where they can die any second. Like, you know what? We can't deal with the science anymore. Let's go live with the dinosaurs. Things are dangerous. Please, they're loud. Major, major Psychic Psycho. It's Psychic Psycho. Polish is dead already. Ness went first, so I could have healed her. Man, can you stop spamming Sci Fire? That'd be awesome. Jeff's the only one that has a rain pendant on. <sighs> Come on. Like, really? This 
speed capsule inside. Jeff had the speed capsule and NASA stuff. <sighs> this apparently doesn't work at all times. I'm not gonna sit here and like. Oh my god, just raise him! Freaking use Omega then. Like. I know this one can. Oops, shit. I know this. One can raise people. See? Raise Paula! A soul consuming flame. Okay. Like, I just hit a flame with a baseball bat, and it's fine. I make sure I don't encounter two people at a time because fighting those two at once really sucks. A sheriff band? Is that any equipped? Yeah. I'll take it. Speaking of hitting a fire with a bat, Pooh's like martial arting these fire. Does the power of Moo allow him to, you know, not get burned? A lot of enemies. Oh, they were down here now. Eva Elemental. Okay. Well, who's been possessed? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm just 
just taking doors. So can I cure possession? Nope. Why is it so laggy out here? What the hell? That led to that present though, right? Yeah. Oh my god, game, please. There's fire everywhere. Ah! I don't know why I tried to run for it. Yeah, what the fuck? Why did that not do all of Paula's life and damage? Didn't that do like 200 some damage to Paula? Why'd she only lose? Whatever, she's still alive. Also, why did the ghost die? <laughs> A moonbeam gun. That's cool. Glad Jeff's carrying so much shit. Jeff, now you have moon technology. Better to shoot our enemies with. Just blast this psychic fire, dude. Don't give him a chance to freaking cast fire on us. Ness, now's not the time for homesickness, my dude. Come on. The fucking boss is right up here. You're gonna be homesick? Did that fire just clip through the map and then get a sneak attack on us? It sure did. Ness, really? I hate homesickness. Like, I get it. I get Ness as a kid. I, I get it as a mechanic. I get it, it's a mechanic, you know. Again, it just did it again. It went through the volcano. But like, fuck, come on, can we not do homesickness? Especially not when there's a boss right here. <laughs> like, please. It just sucks that Ness will skip his turn. She's like, oh, I miss my mom. Tiny little ghost is almost as good as little saucer. Almost. You finally got here. This is the eighth. This is the eighth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Carbon dog. I should have like healed and shit before I did this. 
That'd been a good idea. You weren't supposed to heal her right away. Oh, we actually hit the friggin' dog. Should have kept those rain pendants and just put one on everybody, jeez. That like completely negates the freaking fire damage. Ness suddenly thought about his mom. Didn't attack the little hellhound in front of us. Huh? Ow? Why is it a diamond now? What the fuck? It's because I froze it. Why is Jeff dead? Could he not handle the glorious light that came off the rainbow dog? Why? Wait, what? Why did fire hit me? He's literally stuck here doing nothing. Well, okay. I can't go the way back. Oh, shit. Should have made a restore point, like... Should have made a restore point. I got to the boss, but I didn't. Why am I back over here? Can I not like use? Okay. Thought I used the phone down there, but I guess not. I have to mash this dude's dialogue because he heals me. But he didn't heal. 
He didn't revive everybody, did he? Shit. I thought he healed. Oh, fuck. This is unfortunate. There we go. The baddest beam? It's a harmonica! Is it like a weapon? It's not as good as the moonbeam. Cool. Glad you finally fixed it. That's where we got the moonbeam. Appreciate it, Jeff. Walk of shame back down to the fire cavern. Teacher dropped by looking for you, but don't worry, I covered for you. Miss Ness's mom, your son hasn't been to school in two months. God, what would the defense even be?
<laughs> this can't go to school today. He's off playing dinosaurs with magic powers. Well, it's true, I guess. I ended up going, like, the right way. Oh, fuck, not this shit again. We have to deal with both of them blasting us with sci fire. Plus, these dudes' heads look like they have a salt shaker or something on top of it. Fire Omega. Cool, I guess. Not really helpful here, but. I'm trying to get through with like the least amount of battles I can, so I have a lot of PP when I get up to the boss, but. How did I get through here? Was it this way? Oh, come on! Why are there so many enemies in the tunnels now? Me trying to save HP. Everyone else nearly dead. <sighs> oh my god. I'm so tired of accidentally using Killing B. Damn it! Let me through! Thank you. 
Ah! <laughs> Stop being in the way! Stupid fire. Try this again. Oh, jeez. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, poo. It while it has the shield up. Also, heal Paula. <laughs> Thank you. Just so she can get crit again. Jeff died again to the glorious light. Damn it, Jeff, get your act together. Wait, why do you use it on Diamond Dog? Use it on Jeff. Damn you, Confusion. Don't confuse yourself. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Do I need to unconfuse myself, Beta? That might be a mistake. Hang on. <laughs> I guess Paula stopped crying. Can you not be confused? Oh my god. Oh, 
Break this freaking shield. Yo, can you not do like 300 damage to me a bite? That'd be awesome. for 500 and it's still standing. So I don't got much left in the tank, dog. <laughs> I need you to die. Who got two levels out of that? Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. And it sounds like the melody of Fire Spring. So all that's left now is Pink, Cloud, and Dalam. Which I completely missed because I was just stupid. And have not gone to Dalam at all yet. Hello. What? Fire. Cool. We have to deal with freaking big fire damage. All right. So we're almost done with uh with earthbound here do is collect the eighth melody and then uh go and fight gagas did i take a wrong turn yep i need to go this way i think no wait huh oh ladder
Wow, you run really fast here. Like, I didn't think you'd take that far. Okay. Or run that far. All right. How about B? Can I really not just teleport out of this place? Is that really too big of a problem here? Like each of these areas is designed like just not big enough. Maybe right here? Not on. Uh, the plus side, it worked. Just come crashing through that freaking car. I want to go down back down to this village and see if I can get the uh, the Hall of Fame bat and see if it's better than the ultimate bat. Actually, Google can answer this real quick. Earthbound Hall of Fame bat. Oh, I need to give it seven horns of life. Oh. Plus 62. Ultimate bat. Plus 68. The ultimate bat's actually better. Huh. I actually don't need to go down there. Okay. Um, let's see if there's a spot I can teleport. If I can use this water. Yep. Nope. Hit a flower. Oh boy, it's Fuzzy Pickles time. Ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Hi, Rosie. Not opening the window for you either. I ain't opening it for my I'm not opening it for you. Okay, I wanted to talk to the master dude, pass me another picture taken. Okay, 
Man, look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Excuse me. No problem here. What? Talk. Future battles are considered much more dangerous than you expect. Don't be careless. Oh, thanks for healing us, I guess. Appreciate it. So we're not going to hit up the um, the pink cloud tonight because it's almost one. I should really go to bed. Um, so tomorrow we will do the pink cloud and we will do probably the Gygas battle because I don't, can't think of anything in between the uh, anything in between 08 melodies and the Gygas battle besides like the final dungeon. Love this just freezes the game. Like, it forces you to turn off your console. I can't do anything, like, besides that. Like, if you hit end, it's like, okay, you're done. Game is broken. Good night. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's it for me. I'm going to head to bed, and I should... More than likely back tomorrow with quite possibly the end of Earthbound. And then we can move on to Mother 3. And there can be happy, fun times, and everyone can have an absolutely terrible time and feel bad. And cry. And, and cry lots. Everyone can die? No. Not everyone dies. <laughs> but everyone dies and Little Sauce becomes president. The end of Earthbound. No. Yeah. That's it for me. I will be back tomorrow night. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good night.